Hello and welcome to Straight Talk, where the John Birch Society comments on news that sparks its attention. As many of you heard on Monday, David Rockefeller has passed away, but his legacy still remains. And what a legacy it is. News reports highlight David Rockefeller as the last of his generation amongst five older siblings. Because of his wealth and power, they referred to him as an unofficial diplomat and a philanthropist. According to the New York Times, he spread the gospel of American capitalism, but it isn't the type of capitalism that's beneficial to our country. Let's talk about what isn't highlighted in the media. David Rockefeller was known for being chairman of many organizations that you may have heard of. Significant ones that come to mind besides Chase Manhattan Bank are the Council on Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission. Seasoned JBS members recognize right away the negative influence the CFR and the Trilats have had on the direction of this country. For those of you who don't know this, let's offer some perspective. In 2002, David Rockefeller made this startling confession in his autobiography. Some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists and of conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure, one world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty and I'm proud of it. Part of a secret cabal, and this is where the CFR and the Trilats come into play. We encourage you to look up the aims of these organizations and compare them with American founding principles. Moving on to the public spotlight, mainstream media have always put the Rockefellers on a pedestal and essentially have helped them in their global pursuits. David Rockefeller confirmed this when he said the following at a 1991 Bilderberg meeting. We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promises of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subjected to the lights of publicity during those years. But the world is now more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. Is anyone surprised at all by this? And who is reporting fake news? Following the global pursuits, it's also well known that the Rockefellers donated the land for the United Nations Global Headquarters in New York City. But what people may not realize is, is that they have used their political influence to empower many UN-related institutions such as UNICEF, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund, which have all been used in some way to build world government. The Rockefellers have also had a hand in creating many trade agreements, such as NAFTA and CAFTA. Most notably, David Rockefeller was a known supporter of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. So if you're not aware of the dangers of these trade agreements, check out our Stop the Free Trade Agenda project page at jbs.org. The groups and foundations created by the Rockefellers have always helped to push a global agenda. But don't take our word for it. We invite you to always do your own research. Join with our members and seek out the truth. Because of our efforts, the Rockefellers have not yet been able to achieve their goal of a one world international socialist government. There's never been a better time to get involved. Check out our issues page at jbs.org and learn more about us. And check us out on Facebook and Twitter. So until next time, God bless and take care.